life in the Royal Air Force. What's it really like? In the space of 24 hours, we follow the activities of four airmen and airwomen, each living in a different part of the world. Through their eyes, you'll discover what the RAF has to offer. The choice, the challenge, the camaraderie. It's six o'clock in Cyprus, and senior aircraftman John Smith is about to jump off a cliff. My real passion is paragliding. I was lucky enough to uh, enrol myself on a, a paragliding course with the Royal Air Force out here two years ago, and now I'm fully qualified as a, a club pilot. Uh, I can quite easily grab my gear and go off to the beach and go flying whenever I want. I go the top In the Falkland Islands, junior technician Phil Davidson and a few mates go exploring. Being in the RAF has given me plenty of opportunities to travel the world. I've been from down south here up to Alaska. I've travelled all of Europe, round Cyprus, so you definitely get to see places and you have a really good time. Back for some of that lovely food, eh? Meanwhile, in Scotland, Senior aircraft woman Tracy Otley begins her early evening shift. I do the job of uh, assistant air traffic controller. See you later. Basically involves making sure that the controllers have all the information that they need. Savard Cross Point Golf. A fair. Zero two one zero A fair. We have to always be thinking on our feet all the time, um, always checking and double checking if you like what we've done, so that you're convinced yourself that you are on the ball. Shotgun 1-8, look at cross the main point, whiskey, report vacated. In England, junior technician Dave Long unwinds. I can go to virtually any station in the Air Force and know that I can, I'm going to know someone and go out for a drink with them and have a good laugh. That's the way, that's the boy. You're blessed, you? A lot of people know me through going on detachments or for being on other squadrons. Yes. The camaraderie is very strong. <laughs> it's late evening at Akrotiri, a large RAF station in Cyprus. This evening there should be quite a large party with a few thousand people and a few bands. Really great fun. Meet a few friends, have a good time. Get down and uh, dance. It's rush hour in the capital of the Falkland Islands. I don't see this view at all back home. This is absolutely amazing, isn't it? Never. 8,000 miles for this. Absolutely amazing. Never seen sunsets like. By the time Phil's head finally hits the pillow, John is preparing to go to work in Cyprus. Typical working morning for me is obviously uh, waking up, first cup of coffee. Uh, at the moment, I'm living with uh, with my wife in a married quarter. Uh, all the quarters. Uh, for airmen and officers are located on camp. Obviously, straight into the car. Good ball. Good morning, John. Go to work starting normally just before seven. Uh, yes. I'm a, an SAC movements controller. It basically entails the, uh, the processing of passengers and cargo and the physical loading of uh, the various aircraft. This is rather urgent, John. It references three air cooling trolleys for Kuwait outside. Part of the challenges and pressures of uh, working uh, within an air movement squadron is obviously in a place like Akrotiri. It's a, a down route station. So when the aircraft land here, often they're on turnaround times and it's very restricted time wise. Cheers, mate. Two hours behind John is Dave. There are days when I wake up in the morning and I think, right. This is what I've got to do in the morning, this is, this is where I'm going, this is what I've focused on. And I enjoy my day. 
there's a lot of responsibility that goes with the job. Firstly, it's a matter of personal pride to do the job properly, to make sure that everything works as it should, and to know that you're keeping everything, everybody who's flying on the aircraft safe. Did the, did the fire line actually go out at all? No, nothing, nothing went nothing out. Nothing ran at all? Nothing went out. You, you're aware that we've got to get this fixed, because we're on the flight test on Wednesday. Yeah, not a problem. What I'll do is I'll pull the resources. I'm a junior technician working in base hangar, and I work on the wings team. It involves me working on the flying controls of the aircraft, which is a VC-10, the air conditioning systems on the aircraft as well, and the anti-icing systems on the wings. Just keep me informed. Does you get any more problems? Not a problem. If you have any problems, I'll get straight back to you. In Scotland, Tracy enjoys her morning off. We get a lot of time during the day, generally, to catch up on things you've missed in the evening and stuff like that. I like to go horse sliding. I haven't been much recently, um, but I do like to sort of go as often as I can. It's just a chance to sort of blow all the cobwebs away and just go here and down the beach from time to time.